cells. Have you ever built something using Legos or blocks? If you have, you probably used many different kinds, sizes, and colors. Cells are like Legos. They are the building blocks of life. In fact, all living organisms are made up of cells. You, your pets, and other animals. Cells also make flowers, trees, and plants. There are three things that are important to remember about cells. One, all living things are made of one or more cells. Unicellular means it is a single-celled organism, like bacteria or yeast. Multicellular means it's made up of many cells. You are multicellular because it took many cells to make you. In fact, it took 30 trillion cells. Two, cells are the basic unit of life or the building blocks. Three, new cells come from existing cells through division. This means that cells make new cells by dividing themselves over and over again. Did you know that a baby starts out as a single cell? That cell then divides until it forms a tiny ball of cells called a blastocyst. A blastocyst is a group of cells surrounded by an outer shell. Eventually, that inner group of cells becomes what we call an embryo. That embryo is what develops into a baby. The outer group of cells, which are called membranes, are what protect and give food to the embryo, which keeps it alive and growing. By week five, the embryo cells are doing much more than just multiplying and dividing. These different cells are beginning to be assigned various jobs. Some of the cells divide to become the baby's kidneys. Some become blood cells and nerve cells. Others become the baby's brain, heart, and spinal cord. At about 40 weeks or 9 months, an entire baby has grown all from a tiny group of cells. Nearly all cells are very tiny and can't be seen without a special tool called a microscope. You have probably seen a microscope and maybe even used one before. They make small things look bigger. Under a microscope, you can see the different parts of a cell. Just like blocks, cells have different shapes, colors, designs, and jobs. There are three basic parts of animal and plant cells. The nucleus is the brain of the cell, which basically means it controls the cell. Cytoplasm is everything outside of the nucleus, but inside the cell wall. It is a large gel-like fluid. Cytoplasm gives cells its shape and holds everything in place. The cell membrane is made up of fats and proteins. It is the wall around the cell. It keeps important things inside like nutrients and unwanted things out like waste. Here's a cool fact. Did you know that each time you break open an egg, you see a large cell? Whoa! Plant cells are unique because they have two additional parts that animal cells don't. They contain another protective barrier called the cell wall. The cell wall surrounds the cell membrane. Both the cell wall and the cell membrane protect and support the cell. The cell wall is made of a strong material that helps the cell keep its shape. It also filters molecules that pass in and out of the cell. How cool is that? Chloroplasts are the other extra part of a plant cell. They create sugar through photosynthesis, which uses energy molecules from the sun to produce food for the plant. A cool thing about plants is that everything we eat is either from a plant or from something that ate plants. If you eat a hamburger, the meat comes from a cow which feeds off plants. Plants and animal cells have many things in common as well as many differences. Animal cells are squishy, movable, and not regularly shaped. Plant cells are rectangular and rigid in shape. Plant cells can be bigger than animal cells. There are some really amazing things that scientists can do with cells. Stem cells are unique special cells found in animal and humans. They produce new cells for our bodies as they grow. 
Some of these cells are found in your bone marrow, inside your bones. Stem cells can replace damaged or missing cells in your body. Stem cells are also found in a baby's umbilical cord. After a baby is born, a doctor saves the blood from the umbilical cord. Cord blood is used for people that have certain cancers or blood diseases to help the good cells regrow. Some plant cells are now being used to make biodegradable plastics instead of products made from oil that don't break down and sit in our landfills for years. These new products made from plant cells break down quicker and are less harmful to our environment. Just like bricks are the building blocks of houses and other buildings, cells are the building blocks of animals and plants. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.